Hey, what's up guys, Tommy here, back again with another video. So in my last ride, I mentioned how I finally fixed how my forks were mounted to my frame. Before, essentially what would happen is when I'd hit the front brake, uh, all of this would move back and forth and it felt super unstable and it just made riding the bike not as enjoyable as it could have been. Also, when I'd go really fast, that same thing would happen where all of this would just move back and forth. And since I posted that video, I had four different people saying, hey, I had that same problem. How did you fix that? And I have the solution here for you guys today. So I'm assuming you guys use the bearings that came with your frame. Uh, you know, all this good stuff. Here's actually the uh, top one. As you can see, one of the balls came out and it's all bent. Now, these are okay for most bicycles, but I don't think they're very solid for this type of enduro e-bike. You know, there's a lot of force being put on these forks, especially when you hit that front brake and all of the weight of this bike is going and being uh, put this way. So I think that just ended up bending mine and breaking them. What happened is it made it super hard to turn this back and forth. And also I wasn't able to like fully tighten it. So this would move back and forth. And a lot of people are having that same problem more than I actually thought uh, there was out there. I just, I just thought I was the only one, but apparently not. So basically I'm going to be showing you guys uh, the new bearings I got, uh, you know, where you can get them how to put them on the forks and everything else that's going to make your forks very nice and solid on these enduro e-bikes before we get right into it make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more great informational videos like this hit that like button because that's always nice to see and leave a nice comment for the youtube algorithm also if you know a lot about this and you see that i'm doing something i guess wrong uh, then you can go ahead and leave a comment down below to help uh, me and other people out because I always like to see that without further ado let's get right into it all right so as you can see right here I'm just taking apart the whole assembly and taking out the forks obviously you should know how to do this if you put them on in the first place and then I went ahead and laid the bike gently down on its side all right so as you can see I have my bike laying down on the ground right there the reason it's laying down and not standing up or on a stand or something is these bikes the geometry of them just doesn't allow for them to be on a stand so yeah sorry about that but if you're gonna work on these bikes you're gonna probably have to lay them down but as you can see so i have all of the bearings and spacers and everything you're gonna need to get this stem nice and solid sitting right here as you can see this little kit i got is very very simple i got an Am amazon for about 45 dollars link is down in the description below um so basically you have this little bottom piece here that goes on the bottom of your fork. Uh, you have your one of your main bearings. You have your other main bearing. And as you can see here, I'll take this off right here. You have uh, this little clip which goes in there just like that. And then you have this little piece that goes on top. And what that does is it just you know, makes everything look nice and keeps the dust and stuff out. <sighs> there we go. So we have that. And then we have this top piece right here and the screw uh, that goes through it. And I'll show you what this does all in a second. So here's what you're going to need to do to install all of this. So with your frame, you it likely came uh, with these cups. I call them fork cups. And as you can see, they look like this. You probably just pounded them in with a hammer if you didn't have the right tool. And, you know, that probably worked for you just fine. Um, but as you can see, I have them installed. Now let me show you something. Let me get this out. As you can see, when you put these in, they fit securely into those four cups. I obviously haven't, like, pounded this down securely enough, but you get the idea. So... Basically, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you how I install these with this fork cup. So, oh, I almost tripped. All right, so what you wanna do, take this little ring right here, put it on there. As you can see, I cut a little slit in there and I made sure to do it very delicately. I used some pliers to do that, or I used, uh, I used these bad boys. Very simple. And you push it down and you make sure it is nice and secure on that rim. There we go, see that? Beautiful. Take your bottom piece, and if you have lube, go ahead and lube these up. 
because usually they don't come with um they they usually don't come with enough lube. But as you can see, slide this onto there, and there is a nice seal under there, just like that. Beautiful. All right, so what I'd like to do next is I'm gonna take this fork and I'm gonna slide it into there. Let me go ahead and record myself doing that. You can see, should should look like that. You can see that there's still a nice seal under there, uh, which is what you're looking for. So, next up, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab this bad boy and you're gonna slide this down and get it situated in there. And if it's not perfectly situated, that's fine but just enough so it's staying in there. Beautiful. Gonna take this thing, gonna slide it down in here. All right. I'm gonna lift this up a little bit more. I'm gonna make sure that everything is slid down into the frame. Then I'm gonna take this bad boy and just slide it on top. Now, at this point, if it's all loose and this is like moving around and stuff, it doesn't matter because it's gonna be good in a second. So, yeah, just go out of your way and make sure that everything is all set. All right. Once you've done that, what you're gonna do is make sure that your handlebars and your brakes are where you want them to be before you go ahead and put that uh, whatever you call it you'll see in a second thing on want to make sure that they're in between those sorry about that put it over here make sure it's nice and loose so you can get it on easy take a mallet All right, so as you can see, now it is nice and secure. Basically, I just uh, hammered it down, and what I did is I made sure to kind of lift up the forks while I was doing that, and I moved this around to make sure that it would get situated properly. So put these, you wanna grab these spacers. I have these carbon fiber ones. Link for all of this will be down in the description below, like always. And what you wanna do is you wanna get it so that let me show you. You want to get it so that your forks, or so that your, as you can see, there's just a little bit of this sticking out of your handlebar. You want to get it like that. As you see, that's perfect. I'll give you guys a little bit of a closer look, just like that. As you can see, I didn't quite install this properly. It should be much deeper down, but it's kind of too late. I can't really remove it. But th this works fine too. Don't don't judge me. Every everybody installs things wrong, right? So that's what we're here for. Stick this in here, and remember, at this point, we have not tightened this yet. Leave this untightened right now. We're going to make sure to screw this down. And as you can see now, it's kind of screwed down. You want to make sure that you tighten the hell out of this. And tightening this thing down is going to push all of, all of this down. It's gonna force all of this down. So it, it's essentially gonna bring this all together and, and tighten it up. All right, so now that you've gone ahead and tightened this top piece, pushing all of these uh, spacers and bearings down and clamping everything together, what you're gonna wanna do is tighten the bolts on your crown. Which
And just like that, we're almost finished. Now what we're gonna wanna do is get our handlebars and get them lined up and uh, go ahead and tighten them and make sure they're nice and straight. All right, so now that you've done that, you should be good to go. See, I have my freaking front brake swinging around, but it, that is very nice, as you can see. Oh, I just squeezed the, I just squeezed the front brake, but essentially what I was trying to do is squeeze the front brake and show you how little movement there is. But yeah, look at this. So you can see right here, nice and sealed. There's a bit of damage on my uh, thing here, but that's from past experiences. As you can see on my bottom, there's a really nice seal. You can see there's that rubber gasket and it's very nice. But yeah. That's how you do that properly. At least I think that's how you do it properly. That's how I got it done good. I was asked this by a few people and I'm sure there's a lot more people who want to know how they can get it nice and tight. So there you go, that's that's what I've done. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my front brake. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you, go ahead and hit subscribe because I definitely know how annoying it is uh, to have a loose stem. All right, see you guys in the next one.